Hello, good morning. This is Osamu Kabayashi from Zen Ideas. Today, I want to talk about uh, the plugin, event plugin, uh, Oo Event, uh, calendar and event booking. Now, my project requirement from my client for event management is that the simply my client wants to sell event. Uh, they want to earn some revenue and the send auto reminder uh, two or three times and the front end submission form. I decided to use this Woo event and I can explain you why. Uh, the first of all is uh, it's really that the price is really reasonable. Okay, so the $39 US. So it's pretty reasonable package here. Uh, I did a quite a research here. So even like here, like when you Google uh, what's the best uh, WordPress event management plugins and here's you know, a huge list comes up. And then as a matter of fact, I have used the modern event calendar and also uh, the calendar events. They have free versions, but um, the issue is <clears throat> so I have those three requirements. In order for me to have meet those three requirements, I have to upgrade to uh, the current premium version. And these are kind of the cost. When you have those functionality, uh, most of cases, uh, you have to have a kind of WooCommerce uh, integration uh, add-on and the reminder add-on and front end submission add-on. So usually you have to pay three different packages and it's gonna be uh, way more expensive than uh, this Woo events that I'm going to talk about today. And let me just uh, quickly walk you through what they offer. So this Woo events website and they have filters. Once again, some uh, free plugins, so they don't have filter. And if you wanna add a filter, you have to buy another plugin, right? So this has it already and with $39 uh, package. And then they have different types of a layout too. Uh, weekly, monthly, uh, day. So it's already there and they use short code. So um, I, I like short code. It's easy for me, uh, not for everybody. And there was some style uh, for, let's just open up uh, those styles here. So, Summer here. So this is like single page layout. To me, I think they just put every uh, element here. And then uh, like to me, this is two way busy. Uh, so what I did was, um, for example, so this is the layout uh, I use. I just hide an unnecessary uh, elements. And then for example, sidebar. So you can easily control that. And just uh, speaker and then uh, date, price, and then just uh, how to buy it, join this event. And once again, so they have like, uh, so I can import and then add it to Google Calendar. It's already there. So, and also these kind of share with the social media link here. So um, to me, this suits my needs. And then uh, this is all I wanted. Uh, yeah, so different types of layout here. Uh, I think they have three different types of layout you can pick from. And here, if you wanted to, you can have a front end submission form here. Again, so this is tied into WooCommerce. So you have to go to WooCommerce account and you have, I think user have to log into that. But again, so you don't have to really set up anything. It's already there. So since this is WooCommerce uh, integration plugin, so use this product. Uh, some people probably don't like, you know, maybe you, you wish it's gonna call the events rather than product. But to me, that's okay. It doesn't really matter to me. So for example, let's just, uh, you know, take a look at, I think there is one of uh, one event is mine. So let's take a look at the hit edit. Explain from the right hand side here, uh, product category training, and you can put the uh, subcategory for that. And they have like label color. So let's say this is virtual or like a featured event. So you can put that and put different colors here. Uh, product image, yeah, you can put the kind of featured image here. Um, yeah, product gallery uh, for event, probably you don't need the multiple pictures. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not like you're selling clothes. Um, okay, here on the bottom here, so let's take a look at it. So what happened was um, this plugin just added the meta 
field or metadata for just for events. So start date, end date, and time zone here. Uh, what else? Yes, and this one has a recurrence option as well. Uh, for my particular project, it wasn't um, a requirement, but uh, this is pretty handy. Uh, maybe lots of um, client probably like to have recurrence so that you don't have to enter um, you know every week or every month and here so they have speakers I think speakers right here you can see here uh, you can add a speaker so they actually created a custom post uh, for speakers yeah location of course uh, you can put the address and here they said the venue so once again so there is um, uh, I think that's uh, probably taxonomy uh, is here yeah and the bottom half is uh, this is just a typical WooCommerce section here I think the most event management plugin they they create custom post for events and you will see like events here somewhere here uh, now don't worry about this community event so this is just a custom post I created uh, for this project to me uh, this makes sense uh, even though this said product you cannot change that but I think this is a really lightweight plugin because you don't have to deal with another custom post called events another thing is here uh, so you can put event custom info event sponsors actually this is cool uh, you can add event sponsors too here um, my particular project it doesn't uh, it's not requirement so I just uh, unchecked let's uh, see the settings here uh, the Ooh, event settings under here so this is just general settings yeah so I'm not going to uh, go through every single items here but uh, you can see um, what's in it so you can just uh, yeah so there's the main purpose is events and you can pick the, the branding color primary color and also family font uh, etc you can just change from here just general settings and map settings so uh, I haven't really um, integrated with maps but uh, uh, you can just connect with a Google API and the single event here you can just pick a layout uh, here's search bar so here is email reminder here so you know um, reminders on uh, email remind to all attendees yes or no you can pick that okay and actually you can actually enable setting part event I think this is can be handy because you can probably customize uh, different message for different events uh, time for sending uh, you can enter number types okay so you can actually specify that uh, so for example uh, here two days before something like that so you can do just customize uh, email subject and the content here uh, I think this is the first time email reminder and again so that um, the second time is gonna be you know one day before and then do the same thing and the third time if you want to maybe two hours before the event that's great and also email reminder feedback thank you uh, enable setting per event Hmm, I think this is gonna be good if you turn this on and time for sending the email is maybe for example to uh, you know next day maybe so that means one day after and they put the email subject and the content for feedback I mean you can say thank you for participating in our event yesterday right so you can set something like that and hit save next one is uh, submit event so I'll do and data format and format notification so again oh cool there's a notification too for submitting that's pretty handy and then so this is um, JavaScript and then CSS you can change that yeah I think I did something right here um, all right so anyway um, 
yeah I mean I've got going through um, little by little here and also uh, front end static text yeah oh okay that's that's pretty good um, I should actually look into that so this is why you can change the probably button text uh, that's pretty cool actually uh, yeah I don't know if why yeah I'm pretty sure if I go through this and then uh, yeah buy ticket so anyway uh, I can probably take a look at it uh, later um, but uh, this this is I think this is pretty handy you can customize that now since I turned this setting part event so let's just uh, go to uh, product again and then uh, just uh, edit this event okay now look at on the right hand side here so email reminder settings to you know days so that's probably the yeah first time and the second time is uh, maybe one day one day before and you can put the content here and also email feedback so you can customize that that's pretty awesome and also uh, there's as I said there's just a speakers as a custom content so it's already has the speakers and the events so kind of one too many relations already there so uh, maybe I can show you uh, let's go to so this is uh, my uh, website that I'm working on has uh, instructors list here and then uh, here like if you want to though um, so they have kind of template here so this who events template this is that uh, speaker listing page um, yeah I didn't really like that um, because it didn't really fit into my uh, web design so uh, if you want you can change that you know different listing here and then so let's say like here it's me and I can click the bio all right so here and then uh, here's my upcoming events so it's you know, it's already has a relationship here so it's already there and I think if I click that so user users can go to my event and then they can my, uh, um, buy my event for example and for the short code here so they have different types of uh, the view uh, you can do monthly or listing or grid and for example I have this training page so I got the upcoming workshop here this is like three quorum layout you have to use short code for that uh, again so this is the picture is missing um, so I have to just add it to that uh, what else so yeah this is a training workshop page but I have some calendar page here and I use a different type of uh, uh, layout I think this is kind of listing layout something like that and then so it's easily this is short code and I got the community event so this is just um, a custom post that I created and it kind of match to the same uh, same design font and layout so uh, again so this is like if you want to customize uh, you can do that too that was a quick overview of this Woo event and then once again so I need to um, have those three requirements now as you can see it's really um, high rating so as a developer it is really critical of what kind of support I get uh, the developer you know provide respond to me um, really quick and very precise and helpful At the beginning of uh, the de development uh, I was probably sending uh, questions every day and by next day um, they respond to me quickly in a day uh, within 24 hours for sure uh, if you have kind of similar type of project as mine then uh, uh, the price is really good and the support is really good so uh, I highly recommend and I hope this helps and I'll see you next time